guys, it's Wednesday, June 3rd, 2020, and we're going to get started on today's math review. Remember, when you're finished watching your video today, go on Seesaw, see what work you have left to do so you don't have to wait till the end of the week. All right, you have your paper and your pencil? Let's get started. Number one, I want you to take a look at this picture I drew, and how many groups of 10 are in that number? Remember when I said the question was, how many groups of 10? You need to count by 10 to answer that question? No, if you count by 10, you're gonna know the value or you're gonna know what number that is. So we just have to count the groups of 10. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight groups of 10. Number two, circle the number less than 145. So you have to write the number less than 145. 145, 139, 150, 258. On your paper, write the number that is less than 145. So just like when we're comparing numbers with two digits, now we have three digits. Start with the hundreds column, then look at the tens column and the ones column to see which number is less. Well, the first number is 145. So 145 is the same as 145. They're equal. 139, they both start with a one. Three tens, four tens. Is three less than four? You're right. So 139 is less than 145. 150 is more because five tens is more than four tens. And 258 is more because two hundreds are more than one hundreds. So you should have 139 on your paper. That is less than 145. All right, number three. Chris had eight fish. He gave some to Mark. Now Chris has five fish left. How many fish did he give to Mark? Listen again. Chris had eight fish. He gave some to Mark. Now Chris has five fish left. How many fish did he give to Mark? So this number sentence can help you out. So Chris had eight fish. He gave some, I don't know how many, but he gave them away. So I'm gonna use subtraction. And now he has five. So if I start at eight, and I end up with five, how many do I have? You're right, three. Let me show you the picture. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we ended up with five, so I'm gonna cross off the five. see my three left. I'm not doing too good with my arrow, my goodness. So started with eight, he gave three away and ended up with five left. Number four, name two days. So any days you want, think about all the days of the week, write down two of them, write them the long way, don't be lazy, write them the whole way out. Don't forget days of the week start with a capital letter. So the days of the week are Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. I told you to write two of them. I'm going to write Tuesday and Thursday. But you can write any of the days of the week, two of them. All right, number five. Which number does the star show? So there's my star. Here's my numbers on my number line, 35, 40, 45. Figure out what number the star is. What do we 
counting by 35, 40, 45. Okay, you're counting by five. So now we have to figure out the number over here. So we have to count backwards by fives. 45, 40, 35, 30, 25, 20. The star is the number 20. 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. We're counting by fives on this number line. Number six, I want you to figure out the answer to this number sentence. Nine plus five equals. So think about what the symbol means. Plus and equals. make a picture to figure this one out. You can use your fingers, you could use manipulatives. Remember, you can get out your little snap cube toys, like Legos and things like that. I like to use my fingers because they're always right here. So I'm gonna put nine in my head and then put up five fingers. I'm getting five more, that's what plus means. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Great work today, guys. Keep up the good work. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.